Okay guys, and we're back, and this is uh, going to be part two of this two video series on how to install Mr. MC. Uh, the first video ran about 15 minutes, as you know, so I decided to split it up into two videos. And I know you believe me now when I told you that that last part was going to take a long time, because I'm sure for some of you, it took forever. And I'm sorry for that, but I mean, that's just the way that it is. So we're going to go ahead and jump right back into this, and uh, the first thing I need you to do is CD and then we're going to go back to our home directory where Mr. MC is at and then there we're going to make hyphen C oops tools depends target XBMC Go ahead and let this run for just a second. It shouldn't take too long to uh, process what it's doing. While it's doing that, though, uh, if you want to go ahead and go into your hard drive and go to the directory where Mr. MC is at and go to Tools and then Depends, Target. And then up here at the top, this binary add-ons, that's the folder that we're going to need next. So if you want to go ahead and get that ready. This should be about done doing what it's doing. There we go. And as long as you see uh, all this right here, Mr. MC Configuration, everything went well. So the next command we're going to do is going to be another make command with a hyphen and a capital C and you'll put a space right there and then what you're going to do is you're going to grab binary add-ons and just go ahead and drop it right there and hit enter this one is going to take a little bit to do we'll go ahead and close this and get it out of the way this one's going to take a little bit what it's doing is installing the PVR add-on so uh, if you use that this add-on will be uh, there for and available for you to use it's going to take a little bit to uh, uh, download everything and install so uh, I'll probably uh, pause it here for a second and then just wait till this gets done and then we'll come back and finish up uh, our last few commands and okay guys that just completed so uh, as soon as yours is done if it isn't already we can go ahead and uh, we'll do our last two commands here and uh, the first one is just gonna be make clean and it should take just a few seconds and then the last one is going to be make xcode underscore depends and again this one shouldn't take too long okay we are done right now with uh, terminal so you can go ahead and minimize that just in case we need it later you can just you'll just be able to open it right back up okay and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into applications and open up Xcode give it just a second to load up here and we're going to open another project and you'll navigate to uh, your home directory Mr. MC and then go down here to Mr. MC dot Xcode PRJ and we'll open that okay and if it's not already what you'll do is you'll go up here to the scheme go to Mr. MC TVOS and uh, choose your Apple TV that's plugged into the USB and we'll go ahead and build this and uh, see what error we get first because I'm sure we'll get at least a couple okay Xcode so we'll go ahead and just click fix issue 
and it sees that uh, Nandor is right there so we'll choose Nandor if not you'll have to go to view accounts and uh, just use your Apple ID and log in if uh, it isn't already logged in and if you're having a problem where it's just where it just keeps pinwheeling what I would suggest to do at this point is completely close out of Xcode and then open it back up and then reopen Mr. MC in Xcode again and then build it and go through this error again and uh, the next time you do it you should see uh, your uh, Apple ID in there so we'll choose that see if it'll resolve it okay now we're getting this identifier error so we'll go ahead and click done we'll click up on the error right there and we'll click the error right here and if this pan isn't open right here on this blue icon you're just going to click that and it'll open it up for you go down here to Mr. MC TV OS go over here to the general tab and then we'll just delete all this and I'm going to type in com dot Nandor TV and we'll click fix issue on our team make sure that your Apple ID is there we'll see if it'll fix it and it did so let's go ahead and try to rebuild it again okay and it looks like now uh, we have gotten through the uh, the errors with our uh, with our Apple ID and the uh, bundle identifier now it's compiling uh, you know 70 of 891 source files so uh, as you may be able to tell it's going to take a little bit I don't really want to cut away because I want to I want you guys to see it building without me skipping any of it at all so that way if we come up with an error you guys will see me get the error but if it builds here successfully you guys will see it build successfully so that's what we're gonna do I mean you're more than welcome to uh, fast forward a little bit just to get past all of this but um, we'll just uh, sit here and wait and while we are for the uh, people that have been commenting on my videos uh, I appreciate the feedback um, everybody so far has uh, seemed to th think that uh, the videos that I put out uh, are very detailed and they I try to I try to make as many errors happen as I can uh, while I'm uh, taping this live so that way you guys can see the errors and see what I'm doing to fix them because I one thing that I cannot stand is when you're watching a video and you can tell somebody has cut it up and it just happens to be right at the same part where you're getting an error and you know either they don't know how to fix it or you know they stopped the video fixed it and didn't even think to record it and I think that's one of the best parts of the video because that's what that's what people like me and you see like I'm no Xcode expert I'm not a developer um, I work night shift and you know when a new thing comes out I sit here and spend time uh, going through the errors and going through the error logs to try to figure out how to fix all these errors and then uh, at, at one point it made me so mad seeing these other people do videos like that that I decided I wanted to start putting up videos and specifically have me fucking up in them and then showing you how to fix them and I know that they aren't the most exciting and I don't have no uh, great uh, intro to my videos or anything but I mean it's just I'm just putting the raw video out there and uh, I, I think I think people uh, appreciate that to a point you know I'm just uh, just a regular guy here I'm not trying to be nobody special so I appreciate all the feedback and um, if you guys uh, see any other apps out there um, let me know and um, you know I'll be the first one to uh, jump on it and uh, get a video out as quick as I can especially if you're having problems with something and if you're having problems with this video uh, you're I'm asking you to leave a comment of what the problem is and if it's some kind of error uh, in the comments if you could leave what the error is saying 
uh, that would be appreciated, and you know, so I can at least try to look it up to better uh, answer, you know, your problem. And uh, it looks like we've uh, finished all the uh, sources, so now it's uh, linking. Uh, we're getting closer here. I'm getting a little nervous. This one has by far been the most complicated uh, to get working. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know why. I guess maybe just because the uh, application is so big, but you know, it's it's fun to do too. Let's see if we get past running these shell scripts. I was getting a bunch of errors here too. Well, not a bunch of errors. I was getting one specific error, but I was getting it over and over again. But it really wasn't nothing to do with with anything. It was more me messing with the app. And ah, look at that! It built successfully. Awesome. But what I was saying about that error, it it, it was more my fault than the app's fault or Xcode's fault. So great. Um, we're going to let it go ahead and uh, finish uh, copying all these add-ons and everything else that it's doing. And uh, you want to leave your Apple TV plugged in, you know, right up here it still says installing to living room, so you don't want to unplug it before that. And it looks like it's about done. Give it just another second here, and boom, we're running uh, Mr. MC live in the living room Apple TV. Awesome, 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 awesome. All right, guys, so like I said, uh, if you have any problems with anything, please leave uh, your questions and your errors in the comments, and I'll be more than happy to uh, do the best I can to look up the error or uh, try to uh, create the air myself and see what I need to do to fix it and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I hope you enjoyed uh, this two-part video on how to uh, install Mr. MC uh, side loading it with uh, Xcode. If you did uh, please give me a thumbs up and uh, I'll check you guys later.